Hello everyone. Today I want to tell you how to use the SEO Render Insight Tool Chrome extension to analyze a web page to see if it's rendered on the client side or if elements are rendered on the server side. And if you're not familiar with this concept and you want to learn more about it, bear with me until end of the video that where I will explain more about these concepts. But now let's start with how to use the tool. First thing first, you need to install the extension and then go to any page that you want to take a look at it. For example, here I have TripAdvisor's uh, homepage and you just need to open the extensions pop-up, click on this button, and then I suggest you to scroll down to the bottom of the page to make sure all of the page elements are loaded. After this, you will uh, see some elements with this red borders and some element with the green borders. And this pie chart is also here. So you can see, for example, here, 14% of the page content is rendered on the client side. So maybe we need to worry about it if there are important elements of the page for SEO. Uh, for instance, we can see it. this is rendered on the client side. These are not. And then again, we have these images. So th this is giving us some hints and you know the ideas on which elements of the page might be rendered on the server side so to be honest with you the tool is just giving you you know some guesses and good hints and in order to understand if it's google is not indexing those content you need to verify that and i will show you two ways in order to verify this so for instance i'm you know i just loaded this page for toyota and as you can see this area of the page has a red border around it so maybe it's rendered on the client side so in order to check that to see if google is really indexing this part of the content or not the first way is just to copy this text here and then what i will do is that i will actually Google this page and I will write that content in a quotation mark. So something like this. So we will say site and then toyota.com and then the full URL here and then the exact text in a quotation mark and then I'll just search for it. And you can see on this page we are seeing this con this part of the content in bold font and it means that Google is comfortably indexing this content so we don't need to worry about it another way to do it is just to go to the page and then understand which element is suspicious for you and just inspect that page on your google search console so here i don't have access to TripAdvisor, but in order to show you the process i'm just showing it with my personal website so what you need to do is just yeah copy the url paste it here and then it shows up the inspected URL and what you need to do is just to click on view crawl page and use this search tool and search for the text or if it's an image search for the image URL so for example if it's like three ways to get from Madrid to Barcelona so I would say three ways and it, it seems that this content is not on the page so this is the point that I will get worried so what I suggest you here is to tell your developers, ask them that, yeah, this part of the content is really important for SEO. We need it to be indexed, but it's not indexed on Google. So let's use another technology instead of using a client side rendering thing. Let's use, render it on the server side in order to make sure users can see it under the search results. So this is really important. And if you make any changes to the technology and bring that content to, uh, to be rendered on the server side, I feel uh, the SEO performance of that page will highly improve. Use this tool in order to you know, analyze your important pages and make sure everything is well. But as I promised, now I want to explain uh, the difference of client side and server side rendered uh, content on the page and why it matters for SEO. So maybe by now you will have a better understanding of this, but you know, for many websites, for example, this is Airbnb and then they really don't need, you know, some of their contents to be 
rendered in the same way for all of the users. Maybe if I'm in Canada, maybe if I'm in Toronto, or maybe if somebody is in California, they want to show them different contents, different stuff. So how it works is that based on different factors, the technology that loads the page it decides to show this content to me and another content to another person. So even with TripAdvisor, what we're seeing is that maybe they are targeting me based on some of the information that they have. Yeah, you can see uh, they don't know where am I from. So I'm from Toronto and they are suggesting these items to me to explore. So these are the elements that are being rendered on client side, which means on my computer and on your computer, it might be different. So, and the value here is not really based on the SEO value of the page. It's mainly based on the experience and meeting the user's need. So, but in many cases, we might see that developers are using this technology to render something on the client side or on the user's computer. So, and in this case, Google will not be able to see that content properly. So if it's something is really important, the content of the page is valuable, important for the user and also SEO, uh, then that's the time that we need to really worry about it because it means that the users cannot find it on the search and that it might really tank your traffic. Hope all of this information is helpful for you. If you have any suggestions, questions, reach out to me on LinkedIn x or even leave a comment on under this video on youtube and i'll be more than happy to help you